Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th. Now keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, could happen at any time. And not every reading is for you. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So what do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do, we, what do I have for a message for Aries? I got two of them. Financial constraints and a journey. So we have a traveler here. This is about packing bags, leaving, going in a new direction. You may be dealing with some financial constraints this week. It looks like the cupboards are bare or you just, it, it's, it's something you're not used to. Um, you may need to go down a new path. You may need to leave something behind. And once you do, once you cross that bridge, things will get better. But it looks like the struggle is to face your fears. It looks like it's a little bit scary. Uh, you know, you could fall at any time. It feels like it's it's a kind of like a dangerous situation. It may have something to do with a partnership. I do feel like there's there's something financial that is holding you back. You need to face your fears and go down that path that you are so afraid to go down. And I feel like this week there could be, you know, maybe there's something that needs to end. If you think about 13, what does 13 represent? It represents the death card in the tarot. So that's like an ending. So I feel like there's an ending that is needed. It's a profound change, but it's scary. You notice there's no, there's no uh, side rail on this side of the bridge. So it feels like, you know, you could... You know, what if, what if you don't make it? You know, what if you don't make it? What if, what if you fall? What if you get hurt or something like that? Replace your fears with faith, okay? Something needs to end if you want this stability that you're seeking, if you want the partnership that you're seeking, if you want the happiness. And that, But that's going to require you to face your fears. So I feel like this week, you know, there's, there's some sort of uh, financial situation that you need to let go of to find your happiness and take that take that journey take that path that you're so scared to take um, you definitely have another option it may require you packing up your bags and leaving okay or somebody else leaving a situation this could be a job situation could be a home could be a partnership but when I see 13, I always think of the death card. That's a, that's a profound change. It's a time of transition. It's, it's a time of transformation, right? Endings lead to new beginnings, okay? So you have a new beginning here, but you're going to have to go down that path. You are. So it is time. It's time for you to take that journey, to take that path. You know, face your fears. Don't let... Uh, financial situations hold you back. That's an excuse, okay? Or that's ego. If you're staying in a situation because of the financial aspect of it, you know, the financial gain, it doesn't look like you're really getting what you need anyway, you know? It doesn't look like there's enough financial stability in whatever it is that you need to leave behind anyway. You could have more. Right, you could have more, but it will require you to um, face your fears and cross that bridge. You gotta cross that bridge, even if it's scary. So I feel like this week, you know, um, you may have to make a choice because twos are about choices. This is a two, okay? You gotta make a choice. You know, your gut is probably telling you. It's probably telling you you gotta cross that bridge. Go for it. Do it. You know, but there's some sort of financial tie that is holding you back so what do we have for Aries King of Swords. It says King of Blades. A King of Swords. You need to be honest with yourself. This is making a judgment call. You notice this is like looks like a judge Okay, you need to make a judgment call. You need to examine the facts, examine the truth. 
Okay, you, you need to uh, make a decision based on the facts this week. There is going to be some sort of judgment that is made this week for sure. You may be in the hot seat. You may be the one that's making the judgment call. I mean, this is obviously a judge that needs to use discernment, that needs to be honest, that needs to, you know, base the decision on the facts. Okay, so I do believe, I mean, there's some sort of evidence here, right? I feel like you are going to be examining a situation and I feel like you're, you need to look really, really deep. You need to look deep at everything that is going on and you're going to have to make a judgment call this week. It's a big one. It is a, it's a life changing situation. It really is interesting because I saw this like the death. You're going to be making a life changing decision this week. Okay. It's all about the truth. I mean, that is, that's, it looks like the ace of swords. Okay. That's the truth. You have, based on the facts, based on the truth, uh, except act with integrity. The King of Swords does the right thing based on, you know, the facts. And I feel like, so I do believe that some sort of truth is right in front of you, but, and you, ha and you have to, you have to do the right thing. Okay. Do the right thing. So. I'm not saying that you don't do the right thing. I, I believe that you're going to have to use your head. You, you know, there could be some upcoming legal matters if you go in this direction. Maybe you want to leave, right? You want to leave. You want to go in this direction. But you're, maybe you're fearful of legal implications. What's it going to cost me? What's this person going to do? You know, don't worry about that. Seriously. Be honest with yourself. This is about integrity. It's about doing the right thing. You do get rewarded for doing the right thing. When you do the right thing, when you act with integrity, the universe sees that and they will bring you abundance. So anyway, I do believe that there is a life-changing decision that is on the table here. It's on the table. I feel like you... You have some sort of evidence or you know some sort of truth or you have some sort of information that changes everything, but you are going to have to face your fears and go down a path that it probably looks a little scary. It does look scary and it does, it will require, you know, an ending of something. I feel like there's there there's there could be fear of upcoming legal implications. What's it gonna cost me? What's it gonna cost? Or you know, you may be fearful of legal matters in the future, or something like that. Um, you need to be honest. Take your feelings out of it. Okay, remove your remove your feelings. Use your head. What is the right thing to do? What do we have for Aries? Some of you are dealing with a high priestess um, because I got it twice. Okay, I'm just I just picked this deck up, so I'm not sure if it was reversed or not. But I have it twice in two different decks. So high priestess is I don't know a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic, a empath. This is somebody that is very very spiritual that probably has you know, some sort of draw. This person is very self-sufficient, very alluring, uh, very intuitive, um, highly aware, very receptive. So you're, th and maybe this is you, for some of you, this, if this could be you, this is you knowing what you need to do, but you could also be dealing with somebody that is very, very spiritual that, you know, has some sort of advice for you or can help you in some way. I mean, the high priestess is um, very uh, self-sufficient, intuitive. It's a very seductive energy. I mean, there's some sort of seduction here with the high priestess. You may be... Um, 
having a lot of dreams, receiving a lot of messages. You may be, you may be thinking about somebody a lot. Um, you're dealing with somebody that is very, very spiritual and it feels like this is somebody that is, that is on your mind. Um, Oops. There could be some deep feelings here, and I feel like there's secrets. Somebody is keeping secrets. Queen of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups. Emperor reversed. And the King of Pentacles. So I believe that you have an opportunity for wish fulfillment with that Nine of Cups. On the, that, that is having it all. This is like, you know, a Santa Claus, what does Santa Claus do? He brings you presents, right? Santa Claus brings presents. It's it's magical. It's like, it's, it's like, uh, wish fulfillment. Your wish is being granted. It's like you, this is what you asked for. You are, you have an opportunity for happiness. I mean, the nine of cups is extreme happiness. It's success. It's wishes coming true. It's realizing your dream. It's living the good life. It's abundance. Okay. You have an opportunity for abundance. This is a reward. Okay. It's, it's inner happiness. It's emotional maturity. It's like where you can be sitting pretty, you know, be like, wow, I got what I wanted. This is what I wanted. This is, this is it. This is what I wanted. This is it. You know, you have an opportunity to get what you want, but I feel like you have to be honest with yourself. You may be dealing with somebody. This person is behind you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe this person gives you some sort of emotional fulfillment or they are very emotional. They're in their emotions. I feel like maybe, maybe you have some sort of feelings for this person or this person loves you or something like that. Maybe you have another option now. Maybe it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you're going to be in your feelings or you're dealing with somebody that has a hard time master their, mastering their emotions. This person may cry a lot or they, you know, they're very wishy-washy or they're very, very emotional. And I feel like you're, maybe you're thinking about leaving this person behind and you're having a hard time doing that. This is somebody that maybe you're emotionally connected to this person or you know this person feels very deeply or they can't master their emotions. I think that you, you're going to be making a choice this week. I feel like it's a very difficult choice. I think you have a choice between two paths, two options. I feel like you um, are going to, or you are presented with an opportunity for stability with that King of Pentacles. Right here is the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you, okay? This is uh, lack of discipline, you know, lack of willpower, lack of control, maybe angry, upset, having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. So you may be having a hard time. Okay, but I feel like you have some sort of information or, or evidence or something that is telling you that you have an opportunity for abundance, but you're going to have to go down that path and master your emotions. So I feel like it's, I feel like you're going to, you're in your emotions this week. I feel like, um, you know, there's some sort of, uh, flood of emotion. You, you're probably dealing with somebody that's emotional. Maybe that's what your fear is. You know, if I leave, right? Because that that that's leaving. If I leave, what's this person gonna do? You know, they, cause are they gonna be vindictive? You know, are they gonna take me to court? Are they? What are they gonna do if I leave? Anyhow, I do feel like this week. Um, you're probably good. You, there could be anger. You may be feeling angry. You may fe be feeling. Um, like you can't, uh, like your things are out of control. You may be having a tar hard time even controlling your temper. I'm just being honest. Um, I do feel like there is um, a need to be honest with yourself and be practical and be realistic. You have an opportunity for abundance. I mean, you get the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. This is somebody that is very clever, very cunning, very hardworking, very loyal, very grounded, practical, responsible, and 
financially stable. So you may, I, I feel like you have to be real with yourself as well. You have to be practical, you know, be really, really logical here. You're going to be making a decision based on facts this week. And it, you're, I think you're going to be uncomfortable. I think this is, you're going to be put in an uncomfortable position where you may even be frustrated. You may be angry that you have to make this decision. I feel like, um... You know, you may have to take responsibility and maybe you don't want to take responsibility. You could be dealing with somebody that um, sees something and puts you on the spot. So just beware of that. You may, you may be dealing, and maybe it's a feminine energy that puts you on the spot. You know, this person may find some evidence and cause a fight, you know, make you really angry. So that could be a problem this week. I feel like you're you're going to really need to master your emotions because I feel like there's somebody here that's going to push your buttons with that Queen of Cups reversed. This is somebody that uh, may see themselves as a victim. You know, they play the victim. They use emotional blackmail as a tactic. They may try to make you feel guilty for doing what you want to do. And maybe it's worked. Maybe that's why you're suffering or, or you're sacrificing yourself. It feels like you're sacrificing yourself. Maybe this person can't really take care of themselves. And you're worried that they can't take care of themselves. I do believe that, you know, there's... I, I, you know, you, you don't want to break somebody's heart. Maybe you're worried about breaking somebody's heart. Um, anyhow, I, or, or you're worried about revenge. What's this person going to do if I break their heart? So anyway, I feel like this week, you know, you need to be honest. You need to act with integrity. I think that you're thinking about going down a path that's a little bit scary for you. Um, I do see, I do see that things are probably a little chaotic. You may be, um, unable to control what's going on. Um, you could be dealing with some anger this week, but you have an opportunity for some sort of abundance with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a lot of abundance. Okay. This is somebody that has a lot to offer. This person has some sort of Midas touch, right? This person uh, works hard to achieve their goals. So anyway, I believe that you have to make a decision this week, and I think it's a very difficult decision. I think you're going to be frustrated over having to make this decision. Um, there's an opportunity for stability here and abundance with this King of Pentacles, but it will require you to be honest with yourself. And I feel like there's been a, there's been some sort of, you know, I want to be fair, right? I want to be fair. I want to, I want to do the right thing. So I feel like you want to do the right thing. And that may, if you do the right thing and go down the path that you want to go down, it may break somebody's heart. It may be, but you have to put you first. You have to, you have to put you before anybody else. That's the, that's the universal law. The universe wants you to take care of you before anybody else. That's the truth. People don't get it. If you, if you don't take care of you, you can't effectively take care of other people. Okay? You have to come first. So anyway, I, I, I feel like right now you're suffering, you're suffering and maybe some of you are suffering financially. You could have a lot more abundance in your life if you really examine the truth Really, really, really examine the facts, okay? Be honest with yourself. Do the right thing. You have an opportunity for happiness here, for a lot of abundance. But I feel like it requires you uh, leaving something behind that is not emotionally fulfilling to you. But I feel like you don't want to break this person's heart, but you got to do the right thing. You got to do the right thing. So anyway, Aries, I feel like this week 
you know, they have, they have granted one of your wishes. It's like you've been wishing. You've been wishing for this. You've been wishing for this opportunity, for this stability, for whatever it is, for this financial stability. And maybe it's not just financial. It's stability, period. You know, you've been waiting for this structure. You've been waiting for this. And things have been disorderly, right? They've been, you know, disorganized or whatever. There is something here where you could regain structure, regain order order, regain control of your, you know, finances or whatever it is, but it will require uh, truthfulness. So anyway, Aries, and I'm not saying that you're a liar. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it. Sometimes we self-deception, okay, there's self-deception here. And I see that you are definitely here. And it is almost like you're deceiving yourself. Anyway, you could also be dealing with somebody that, that is investigating you. This could be somebody that you live with. They may come to you with some sort of information that pushes you out the door, okay? Pushes you over the edge. There could be some sort of, you know, argument, okay? Just saying. Um, everything happens for a reason. It does. Um, I think that you're going to need to follow your gut this week. You're going to need to... Uh, Listen to your intuition. Somebody has been keeping a secret, okay, with that high priestess. We saw it twice. There's secrets here. They've been keeping a secret about, you know, what they really want to do. My advice is to do what you want to do. Do what you think is right. Do what you think is right, not what the other person thinks is right. Do what you think is right. This may have to do with legal documents or something like that. Do not let this person use emotional blackmail to force you to do something that you don't want to do. So I feel like this week, I mean, there could be a new contract that is being drawn up. This could be the end of a contract, change in a contract. Anyway, I do believe that this is going to be a week of, of making a change. Maybe something to do with money, you know. you have an opportunity for wish fulfillment. A lot of happiness with the Nine of Cups. Or to make somebody very, very happy. Whether you're making them happy or they're making you happy, this is like a dream come true. I feel like you have an opportunity for big love. But it feels like there's somebody standing in the way. Good luck.